Welcome back, my name is Carla Calderon, and this video is to show you how Feedback Panda works. I picked three students to show you three different scenarios. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to missing CF or UA, and then here, as y'all can see, I already have this Feedback Panda logo showing on here, and that's the reason that I downloaded this um, extension, and then I'm going to click right here, and it's going to generate it for me. So this is a student that I already had, but as y'all can see, it is a new lesson. So I have all her information here. See, so it tells me her name and then the birthday and those things and that she's a girl. I can also put a picture of her here, which I'm hiding by the way. And then I'm going to go to template and you can create your own or you can search one in the cloud. And that's what I like to do. And then I click on only recent updated templates and only popular templates. And I normally pick the first one and then I just pretty much read what it says and see today, blah, 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 did well learning about the different weather and seasons. And then you just basically just pick whatever um, if you like this one or not. If you don't like this one, then you just click on the next one and all the other options but i'm gonna pick the first one where it says name what's gonna happen is that it's going to replace the name to your student's name so let me read very quickly and this is when you like can modify it in a minute so right now this looks pretty good and as you can see this is some other teacher so you click on import this template and then I'm going to scroll down now and then I'm going to change this to my name and this is going to be saved as a template for another class if I uh, have another student that is doing the same lesson then this I could just copy it on there now because I made a change here I need to save the change on this side too the mail template so what I do I just click on generate mail template and it's going to pretty much just update it then i'm going to scroll down and click on import this template and then here whatever i just show you it's now here and it has replaced to the name of my student which right now you're not going to see because i'm just doing it for security reasons you guys know and then what i do is i'm just going to click on copy feedback and see it's been copied and then i'm going to save and close now that's unless you don't agree with something here which she did everything well so i'm going to keep it the same way and save and close and i'm gonna go back to vip kid portal and i'm going to feedback and all i have to do is just paste super easy you guys so there we go there it is and then i don't know if you guys leave any teacher uh tips or not um i know they are very recommended but also um what i've noticed is that it helps me to track if i teach that child the previous lesson or not so um you guys already know what to do in this part so i'm just going to skip this part and i'm gonna go back because i want to show you the other one that i have which is a new student and give me just a second let me finish this real quick okay now that i added i just click exit classroom and there it has been already added and then I'm going to go back to missing CF and UA. And then these are the two that I have left. So this one, she is a new student for me. So I'm going to click on Feedback Panda again. And this is like putting all the information that I want about the child. So on here, it has her name. And I'm going to click Edit because sometimes they don't put me the... That's something that I've noticed that it doesn't always recognize the birthday. So I have to add the birthday myself. The reason I like to do that is so that way I um, can keep track of my students birthdays so and there we go i just type it in that's it i don't think there was no i don't have a nickname for the student oops i put it in the wrong place whoops so that should have been the nickname <laughs> if i click here that's if i want to add a picture so you can like screenshot whenever you're teaching the student i gotta say i started doing that when i first got feedback panda but now it's like i have forgotten to do it and also you can just select girl or boy. This is very important because depending on if it's a boy or a girl, then that's how everything is going to be uh, generated for you. So there I just saved it and then I'm going to go to template and cloud because it seems like I have never done this lesson before. And then same thing, I'm just going to click here. Only recently updated templates and only popular templates. And then I'm going to click right there, scroll down and then kind of like skim through and see how this looks and yes I, I'm, I just like to do this because i want to make sure that this is the same lesson that i did okay so see how it says another name again import this template 
scroll down and I'm going to change this to my name and then generate the male version as well. There it is, import this template. And now if there's something that I wanna add extra or that I don't agree with for the student, then I can just replace it and then copy. You can also put whatever reward system you use and then some teacher notes, you can add it here as well. Then save and close. And then I'm gonna go back to VIP Kid. Just go to the feedback and same thing, just paste it there. It's not time consuming. <laughs> it is. It saves you a lot of time and I really, love doing this because it saves me so much time when you submit and that's it okay so let's look at the last one that i wanted to show you guys so here again feedback panda and then this is the way that it's it's going to look whenever i have already done a lesson before see it already tells me what i did before and all I do is I just like to make sure that this is what we did. So I just read it through just to make sure that that's what I did with the student. And yes, so pretty much that's it. I'm done with this one. So all I do is just copy feedback. So that's what I mean, guys. Like, I love this because see here, it already recognized the template that I used in the previous student. And this is already generated for me. Even though I never had the student before, it already uh, recognized it for me. And on here, yes, I will have to look and add the birthday because as you see, the birthday for some reason is not being recognized. So I hope that's something that they fix. And there, all I do is save changes and then copy feedback save and close and then what that does is that it saves it here so i have that last student on here okay and then that's it this is how you save time using feedback panda right now i am on my last day of my trial so i am going to renew it for sure i really want to use this and especially since now i'm getting more bookings i don't recommend you to use this if you don't have that many students if you are brand new to vip kid then i recommend you not to get feedback panda yet just because you want to have more students and you want to have more back-to-back -back classes in order to use the benefits of the 30-day trial i mean we all like free don't we <laughs> I know I did, and that's something that I had to do. I mean, I didn't want to waste the full 30 days when I have barely started with VIP kids. So I waited until I had classes back to back and I used the benefits of those 30 days free. So make sure that you wait. I know sometimes you're like, I just wanna see how it works. And that's the reason I created this video to show you guys how it works. and. That's something that I really wanted to see when I first heard about uh, Feedback Panda and I kept telling myself, no, no, wait, you don't have enough students, just wait. And then finally, I started to get more kids back to back and that's when I finally decided, you know what, let me get that trial. And as y'all can see now, I signed up and I really love Feedback Panda because it saves me a lot of time. And also um, make sure that you if you're trying to get feedback panda and you've been thinking about it then i will recommend you to do it now before it's the first of january since they're going up in their prices it's going to be 15 dollars instead of 10 dollars a month i signed up when it was 10 dollars a month and i did the whole year so that way i would save just a little bit more so it is up to you and again keep that in mind that if you are a brand new teacher then just wait, okay? Be patient because you will definitely use it later on. Well, I hope this is helpful. Don't forget to please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and to click on the bell so you get notifications as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.